Welcome back to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. Now it's time for the politics lead. Virginia is for lovers and lately also for potential scandals. Just a week after the state's current governor, Republican Bob McDowell, announced he's giving back 120 grand in gifts, including a Rolex that he got from a prominent campaign donor. We're now learning that one of the guys who wants McConnell's job, Democratic gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe, the macker he's called, is being tied to a potential scandal of his own. Aaron McPike is here with more. Aaron. Well, Jake, of course, as you know, Terry McAuliffe is better known as one of the Clinton family's best friends. And his campaign is being viewed in some circles as a sort of test run for another Clinton presidential campaign. Well, now the Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating the electric car company McAuliffe co-founded a few years ago over whether it mismanaged the distribution of visas to wealthy foreign investors. That company, Green Tech, acknowledged on Friday it's cooperating with the probe, but Republicans jumped at the chance to attack McAuliffe with a couple of hard-hitting campaign ads like this one. An investigation into possible shady dealings. Terry McAuliffe's former company may have taken shady money. A visa for a Chinese executive in exchange for a large investment. Part of the irony is that McAuliffe says he co-founded the company as a way to bring jobs to Virginia. I went to China, I bought leather companies, I moved it to America. Now, in a statement this weekend, McAuliffe said, I left Green Tech in early December of 2012 to focus full-time on running for governor. The first I learned of this investigation was earlier this week when the Washington Post reached out to my campaign. I have no knowledge of the investigation other than what I have read in the papers. McAuliffe says he never asked the government for preferential treatment when he was working with Green Tech. But here's the kicker. Hillary Clinton's brother, Anthony Rodham, was McAuliffe's partner on this deal. 